Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more EU4. I'm your host, Kelvin. So, it's time we check a little bit on our experiment here. Man, those are some really good stats on Poi 2. Man, those are some really good stats on the Muzin. Holy balls. The first ones that we created a long time ago. Oh, okay, apparently that's the Ugly Duckling. See? <laughs> I mean, look at this. People are just like, no, don't give away all your provinces to one province miners. Yeah, well, shove it. I say it's working. I think, uh, I, I think it's working pretty well. Had that. And, uh, yeah, time for us to continue our little Carthage game. So, today, we're going to, uh, start by creating, I think... Oh, we have 15 transports right now, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll make it a total of 40 transports. That should make uh, moving around our troops around a little bit easier. Okay. Am I going to reconquer them? Eventually. I mean, right now, they're proving to be pretty freaking useful. For the long haul, I mean, I can't develop all of these provinces. And, you know, uh, we see in the later games, provinces will end up having hundreds of development. Like, right now, they might be shit, but I'm talking like 1,000 to 1,500 years from now. This provides me a pretty significant boost in power for the later game. Most of these provinces were distant overseas beforehand anyway, so there's not much I can do about it. This, they had 75% autonomy and barely provided me with anything. I mean, I'm going to be releasing a lot more, too. I'm probably going to ditch most of my Asian holdings, and definitely anywhere that's not an accepted culture. So I'm going to probably keep and hold on to the Berber, Egyptian, and Punic provinces, but I'll ditch the Bedouin uh, and Nubian provinces. And whatever the hell else is down here. There's no reason for me to keep them around, really. Out of curiosity, since I'm the Pope, can I call for a crusade? I just realized I can call for a crusade. Don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that should also give us cost belly against the infidel, yes? If I'm not mistaken. That's how that works. Anyways. So, how do I actually do a crusade? I can't just declare war on it freely. That's odd. I was expecting that I would be able to. Hmm. That's... Oh, hey there. Yeah, why don't you come over here? Alright. So, turns out we may need to do more than just declare a crusade. I mean, I guess we have to fabricate a claim or something. Or just fight a trade conflict, sure. Why not? Seems strange. I thought, uh, I thought you got a crusade for, like, a uh, crusade CB. But apparently you don't. That's disappointing. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Alright. Well, either way, I guess we just have to wait for the uh, fabrication then. It's annoying, but that's okay. It won't take long. Yeah, you need a CB, but you get a boost during the war. Yeah, yeah. I figured as much. Um, I, I was, I, I, I kind of remember just, you know, EU3 where you got a free CB, basically. So, when do we get a supply limit increase, by the way? Because I can't help but notice, like, the supply limit is, like, 11 to 12 in most provinces. That's why all my armies are stacks of 10. So that way I can, you know, modularize where I need. I'm just wondering, when do we get our first supply limit increase? Level 50, okay. So it's complete another shite until then. 
the very least. I mean, provincial developments will increase, so... The Pope only answers to God. That's not too surprising. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to maintain papal control or all the damn time with an independent Pope. And that's okay. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could push the issue. Alright. But I don't need to. I think we'll be just fine. Considering our target right now is so badly fucked that his rebels are fighting his rebels. Yes. Alright. Trade conflict. Blockade ports. Well, that's not gonna happen. Ooh, well. <laughs> and I probably don't want to actually call Babylon to this. Alright. Oh, yeah, there we are. Really prestige and Babylon influence. Don't mind if I do. And we could proclaim it a holy warrant. <laughs> no. Let's not. Let's just sanction ourselves another commercial monopoly. I do enjoy reaping the benefits of these commercial monopolies. Alright. <clears throat> Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, you can't move. You can move, though. That's fine. There. Yeah. Eventually, these guys will also catch up. We're actually losing war scores as a result of blockades. That's not too surprising, really, I guess. Sort of expected. Man, I'm just laughing at Babylon right now. Oh, that's that's rich. <clears throat> that's pretty good. So their capital should be somewhere down here. Himyar. Where was Himyar originally? Yeah, Himy is the primary culture of Himyar, so they're somewhere around here, right? Okay, so that's their capital. Good to know. Can can we no. Yeah, we're not moving anywhere. It's it's gonna be a bit of a slow uh slow roll around here. I'm afraid. There's just no way not to. That's strange that we can walk through this province. Oh, it's this fort influencing it apparently. Well that's fine then. I'm not too surprised to see you there. That's why I left this army nearby. I figured you'd be dumb enough to try and walk through the Arabian Desert. Now, if Grand Major's Medieval has taught me anything, don't do that. Ooh, I gained a point of stability. Protect against the Western Satraps? Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. That'd be a tough, uh, tough nut. There. Yeah. Also, apparently they have even more pretenders spawning up here. Kinda concerning. Yeah, no way to get a timely withdrawal, huh? Okay. I mean, in this case, it's more pressing that we deal with these guys here, yeah. Great, and they're staggering too. Uh, get up here. Let's get a decent leader on ya. There you are. Yeah, there. I'm actually just gonna pour in even more dudes. Lovely. Himyar actually has a sizable army, if you can believe it. enough to slow me down and prevent me from just taking everything. <clears throat> and then on top of that, these pretender rebels, they're proving tricky. 
There we are. Finally got that fort. Hopefully we'll get this fort down here soon. Like, they have a decent number of forts. It's gonna make overall life a little bit harder. There we are. So we now have access to their capital, which is what we're gonna go for, because the pretenders are being jerks. Alright. Good. You get down there right away. Good. That makes the north fall. I mean, there, there is actually nobody out there. Right? But, no, no. It would be a bad, bad idea. Very bad idea. Why don't you just stop right there? Let me call you a, some backup. Because it appears they're now intent on stopping our southern offensive. Of course, they have no interest in stopping their own pretenders. I mean, right now, these three are very important provinces for me to take, because Babylon is no longer my vassal. Um, I mean, I feel like I should take al to cut them up a bit, and I'll make their general travel a lot trickier. I don't know if I was going to do that, I should do that. <sighs> yeah, pushing into these pretender rebels is going to be really, really hard. Fall back. No point in trying to fight. We can't. There is no fighting here. The Gender Rebels are the destroyer of all. I mean, we'll bring these guys around just in case. But it shouldn't be a big issue. Okay, good idea. We've already won this. I don't even need to bring in the second one. Oh well, too late. Now, you lead the charge on them. Oh dear, I didn't keep the back up particularly close. I wasn't expecting them to fall apart that quickly. Are they gonna get there in time? Hopefully. Nah, not quite. Ugh. Yes, lots of our truces have expired. That's good. Ugh. Enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to get there. Yes, thank you for letting me know. Oh, good. Well, that's rather convenient. <laughs> get our extra troops in there. Alright. Fucking pretender rebels, man. And there's just more spawning. Like in these fucking provinces I occupy. How many times has our air died to a died so far? Like, is this the third time? Oh, no, wait. This is our second emperor, right? Yeah. We've had two heirs die so far. Uh, oh well. It's not a big deal. We, we tend to find some way to get new ones. Not a big deal. Grab you. We really don't need missionary strength anymore, so, um... I think we do need... I mean, National Unrest Minus 2 is always a good thing, so we'll grab that. Now. Veronica Conquest against Veronica. Uh, Defender of the Faith, allied with Quilia and Mutania. Okay, can I actually see you here? Manto. Okay. Veronica is there. Yeah, they're Aryan. So we definitely have to accept. Good news is, in the treaty somewhere, we can force religion on them. We can force religion theoretically, I think, on all three, assuming all three are. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to do that at some point. I mean, at some point would be nice, yeah. You know what? This is this is becoming a waste of my time. Unfortunately, now you think you can fight me. That's great. How about that? 
Length of war. Himyar is making gains. Jesus Christ, the audacity. Admittedly, I do need to do something here. Okay. Well, let's go deal with our maxed out. What the is it? Which one is it? Uh, military points. That's the word I was looking for. Do we have anywhere that's in need? I'd say this area is in need. Mm -hmm. uh, anywhere else? Yeah, we need. There's a lot of places in need, it looks like. Here. There we are. <sighs> it's just. I can't fight them and their pretender rebels, you know? It's... There's too many of them. I'm pretty certain they've lost at this point. And I mean, they are just kind of dragging it out at this point. Even with their AI bonus of national defense. Like, the war exhaustion is climbing on them. To the point where that no longer matters. Alright, and all of our work now is pretty much being undone by a ridiculous number of Fucking pretender rebels. Oh, lord. And this, kids, is why you don't invade nations that are having a civil war. I mean, they aren't ever going to take any forts, as far as I can tell. It may be best just to pull back for a minute. And regroup. And perhaps not overdo it. Uh, you guys, gang up here, would you? Great. Let's start by smashing these three's navies that they think that they can, you know, hub. Alright. Let's regain our composure. <laughs> We're just getting fucking overrun. And all of our progress. They're trying their hardest. Over that'll fall soon. We hope. It's a 12, so it's not going to get any higher chance. Hanno. 435. Not terrible. Only average claim, though. Yeah, we've had really bad luck with uh, claims. Alright. I mean, they've abandoned the siege down there. Okay. You, head down there. That's got to surrender sooner or later. Or run out of dudes. I mean, it's already lost 800. Nope. Okay, well, let's start piling in here. And stop their one siege that might actually succeed from succeeding. Alright. There. Traveling minstrel. Sure. Getting a lot of pu plus stability events. It's concerning. Oh, again, I did have a pretty bad run in before with negative stability. Finally! You're a little more willing to negotiate now, are you? That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't really want to stick in this war. I, I have to go to Europe and go deal with other things. So you know what? You get off a little light today, Himyar. We'll be back. We will be back. I promise you that. Alright. Take that route. Good. Yeah, we lost the effects of Crusade. No surprise. That's okay, though. What? 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 
Slowly but surely, we'll start dismantling them. And I mean, they just kind of got cut in half in the middle of a civil war. I think their civil war just ended, though. Because their pretenders controlled the capital for so long. Yeah. But I mean, they're at negative stability with overextension, apparently. It... I... I don't know where this overextension apparently comes from, but it comes from somewhere. Hmm. Don't know. Alright, so we can't, uh, can't use that right now. Alright, in the meantime, everyone to Acre. I mean, it looks like that this league has got their own shit down pat right now. Which is good. Uh, we're going to separate out our galleys. I don't find enough condition. There. Transports, however, need to get over here. And we're going to need to pick up around 40,000 dudes, so... Let's get ready. Thirty, forty. Oop. All right, that's forty. Attach transport. Good. And return our forty thousand to Europe. It's high time that we started dealing with these heretics. So, Veronica is our target. We must seize their capital and force them to convert to Catholicism. Hi. There's 40,000 of us. We're going to be coming to stay for a little while. And we'll just slowly siphon off troops into this battle. As needed. Hey, there are reinforcements. Good. All right. So, uh, there's really who else is uh, against us here? There's three. Aquilia, which is right there, and Mutinica. 